hello guys uh, welcome to this other video beautiful day today as you can see the sun is just emerging from behind those clouds and uh well it would have been perfect just that it's a bit windy out here so it's kind of cold quick uh, video today to talk about everything you need to know about your armchair electric bike so i've had mine for close to three years now and so far it's been pretty much uh, for the most part trouble free uh, but recently i am having issues with my battery and i think it's a common problem many people have reported that uh, essentially what happens is you have the battery fully charged and then you jump on the bike you go to take it for a ride and within like 200 300 feet your battery just dies on you it shuts off even though just a moment uh, before it was showing that it's fully charged so that seems to be the only problem i have so far uh, it's also true i haven't put much mileage on it as you can see the tires are still almost like they're brand new still got the cleats everything is still on there so i haven't really used the bike that much uh, so i know they came up with a newer version of the battery 36 volts and i think uh I'm not sure very sure about the capacity but it's a 36 volt battery in here let's take a look real quick while we're at it it's a pretty high capacity battery um I actually I did give a call to Anchier and uh, they responded. They called me back and uh, I told them about the issue because I know they've been giving some people uh, goodwill refunds on the battery. But for me, I was out of luck. It's a eight amp hour, thirty six volt. So yeah, they would warranty the battery for one year and uh, after that you have to buy the battery um, that's almost uh, 300 dollars for a new battery so for now i guess I will, i'm stuck with the battery i have things i would have loved to to be changed of course i would have loved to have a uh, larger uh, capacity battery and also i would have loved to have the newer version of the battery it actually has a different part number from the old version uh, the saddle is quite hard and as you can see for a 26 inch uh, bike that is these wheels are 26 inches uh, as you can see this saddle is quite low i would have loved it a bit higher higher up um the mod guards they stay in place but they're very especially this rear one it seems to be mounted in a very uh, flimsy manner it's just this kind of spring still here that's holding it in place um, other than that i think the bike has been pretty good headlight works when it's totally dark i would have preferred something brighter especially as it's led uh, so it doesn't take as much of the power from the battery pack so I just, from personal opinion, I think they could have gone with something brighter and more powerful. Um, so that's what I have. Uh, bear in mind, if you're buying this bike, it's quite a heavy bike. Even though it folds, uh, don't think you would fold it and lift it up <laughs> easily into your SUV or your truck. It's quite a beefy bike. It's constructed uh, as a heavy duty bike in order to be able to take the torque from this geared hub motor that you find back there. Uh, speaking of which, this is made by a company called, I think it's Bathon. Let's turn it around. It's a 36 volt motor, as you can see. And the manufacturer, I think it's Bathon well-known uh, e-bike parts supplier uh, it has quality components also as you can see the derailleur in the back that's a shimano unit shimano tz and also 
top front and also here the indexed uh, shifters they're all from shimano so if we turn on the bike just had it charged and we go all electric let's see if i can illustrate what i was telling you guys it's kind of cold so i'll see if i can do it let's get on the bike okay i'm gonna use a full electric so i have it i pressed one to the left so let's go full power it's already dropping Yeah, it's too cold now i can't continue riding but basically you do that a couple of times full power and uh even though it's indicating it's fully charged it just dies on you uh, the kickstand make sure you have it secured at times it has a tendency of uh because of the weight of the bike it pulls towards you and if it does that every so often i have to get on there and push with my shoes like that long term i hope it has no detrimental effect but that's what i do to make it work um, all right that's what i had to show with you uh, show you guys my thoughts after owning this bike for three years and not so many miles put on it so watch out for your battery upgrade your saddle to what is taller and more comfortable and uh just make sure everything is looped and uh, your be your bearings on the wheels are not too tight thanks for watching see you guys on the next video